Hector Flores from Las Cafeteras. And I am Denise Carlos, also of Las Cafeteras, and these are our vibes. I'm El Feo Mas Veo. I'm a singer, I'm a dancer. I sometimes rap, 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 and I love making words rhyme. You know, I wasn't born in Tijuana, but Mexico is my mama. And I'm working every day for a better tomorrow. And those are my vibes. What's up? I am Denise Carlos from Southeast LA. My vibes are Cha Cha Fierce mixed with Emo Girl mixed with Me Gusta Sufrir, but I'm done suffering. I play the jarana, I do vocals, I dance tapateado, and I sing my heart out for Las Cafeteras. Las Cabaderas were a group of six Chicanos. And Chicanos. Most of us have parents who were undocumented. We were born in the States, but we got this close connection and roots to Mexico and to Latino America. And for us, you know, we have this firm belief. If to know who you are, you got to know who you were. Because to know where you're going, you got to know where you're at. It's all connected, right? And so part of us in our journey as becoming young, you know, really asserting and affirming our identities was really understanding like who we are and where we come from and how do we tell our stories so that 400 years from now, yeah. people will actually know who we are and who we were as brown kids, mixed kids, mestizo kids growing up in the urban jungle of Los Angeles. Close your eyes so we can see. Close your eyes and let's get free. For us, we had to ask ourselves, what is our role as artists? Our role is not to tour. Like our identity is not about going from city to city. Our identity is really rooted in creating and reflecting the world as we see it. And so Long Time Coming was a response to the murder of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and to say that raza, as brown kids, mestizo kids, we understand what it is to be marginalized. We understand what it means to be disenfranchised, to be oppressed. And we stand with our brothers and sisters who are Afro-Latino, Afro-Latinx, Black in the United States and all over the world. And this song, Long Time Coming, is about the change that we've been fighting for. It's been a long time coming, you know? Long time coming is like, okay, ya basta, you know, with the oppression, with the silence, with the pain of our people. We're gonna use that to fuel us. We're gonna build a different world for us, right? Where we can be joyful, where we can love each other and ourselves, when we can be our full selves everywhere we go, and that's gonna be embraced. Inspired by Sam Cooke's song, Change Gonna Come. Long Time Coming is a jump from what the music we were playing. Like everything else, man, we have to evolve. Long Time Coming was shot in Boyle Heights. It's one of the barrios in East LA in a bar called Chelas, which is a, a bar founded by some of our friends, Gorisa and Gabriel, who are the co-owners. And we wanted to film it there in the East Side because that's, for us, we, we came up there. Our organizing, our consciousness, our political activism was in the East Side of LA and we wanted to pay homage to that and to a business that's, you know, people of color owned. And the video there, the whole idea was election day. What would it look like if we were winning? What would it look like? How would it feel like? How would it smell? like how would you move if we were actually winning and so what does that mean that means something different for everybody and we didn't want to interpret that we wanted to leave it open the video was brought to life by the song the song was a collaboration an LA collab we have just a plethora of artists here in LA and a lot of times we, we don't see the talent and so these dancers came up they did it in such a beautiful and powerful way we're not trying to paint what the world looks like today we're trying to paint the world that we're trying to create, you know? And that's very different from the quarantine. We're not gonna be in quarantine forever, right? And we have to see and create the world we wanna see in the future. And when we come out of quarantine, we wanna be even more fierce, even more creative, even more collaborative, you know? And that was the idea of Long Time Come. Orale, everybody. My name is Hector Flores with Las Cafeteras. And I am Denise Carlos of Las Cafeteras. Follow us at, at Las Cafeteras. We got two big projects coming in 2021. On the week of inauguration, we have a song called If I Was President, the remix. And that one's going to be dope. And we also have this incredible 50s rock and roll Mexican inspired a jam called Oaxaca Love Song number two that's going to be coming out in 2021. So stay up. Gracias, me too, for sharing our vibes. And don't leave yet. We have long time coming. Coming up.